Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about a pair of binoculars from Apexel. So stay tuned. All right, so I got these binos that I've been testing out for doing a review. And I've got to tell you, I wish there was a way for me to hook these to my phone so that you could see through it. Because I tell you what, these things have so much range on them that, look, okay, I'm looking at the mountaintops over there. And I can easily see the ground and the base of trees. So if there was animals moving around, like, I mean, you'd have to be watching carefully and not moving your, uh, Binos around a whole lot, but you would easily be, you would be able to spot game moving around out there. So if you were out, you know, looking for food, these would be very effective. I brought them up here. I kind of wanted to save the weight because um, <clears throat> they are kind of heavy. I mean, these obviously see the size of these things. Um, so you got several pounds there, right there, but. Um, you know, where I live, there's nothing really to <laughs> to view with them. I mean, you can just look out at a distance and, you know, you're looking at uh, cars and trees and the fields and stuff like that. But you really don't get to see much as far as wildlife or um, nicer scenery because where I live is really flat, right? So this is why I really wanted to bring these up here to get a real feel for how effective they are and... Um, you know, if I think I should recommend them to y'all. So, yeah, this is going to be the review. Will be soon. This is just kind of the best test I could give them because it gives me the longest range to see at and give me a, you know, the best ability to tell um, how good they are and how effective they are at longer ranges. I never noticed that before. Oh, I thought it might be a ray. Ranger time. All right, guys. Uh, yes, I just had to move. I realized I just filmed this entire review and then went back to watch it again and realized that with being in the shade, wearing a black shirt, and holding black binoculars, <laughs> it didn't go very well because you couldn't hardly see them. All right, so here's a good look at the box. Right, these are a uh, 10 to 30 by 50 um, on the zoom. The objective diameter is 50 millimeters. The eyepiece is 22, and the prism is a Pro prism. Um, with your field of view, I'll give you, if you want to pause that real quick, um, at a thousand yards, you're looking at anywhere from 70 meters to 38 meters, depending on your zoom. Um, here's the back of the box to kind of give you an idea of what type of clarity you're going to get. Um, and I will say this also while I'm opening the box, I tried multiple times to film with these through the binoculars, um, and... Let's just say it doesn't go very well, all right? Because um, I, I wanted to be able to demo it so, because I've been so impressed by these that I wanted you to be able to see the kind of range and clarity that you get out of it. But um, no matter how much I tried, it just really didn't go well. Um, so here's your little owner's manual. Um, this is where it'll show you how to um, get them set up. And any other kind of details, if you wanna, well, sorry about the wind. If you're wanting to pause it to see if you can try and read it pause <laughs> and again I've had people comment before to stop moving something and I always have to comment back you know you can pause the screen but you know that's YouTube for you all right so um, this is the bag they come in it does have a carry strap this is good for getting you started um, but if I have any critiques at all um, it'll be on the back um, I would highly recommend after you get these get a more durable uh, case for these because this will work like I said it's going to get you started but I've used this type of material with different types of cameras and binoculars in the past and this just doesn't hold up for a real long time would definitely get you through a season depending on how you treat the bag if you're just throwing it around or you know what kind of weather you have it in but more than likely it'll at least last you a season um, until you can get some uh, different bag. Uh, inside, of course, you're going to have your microfiber cleaning cloth for cleaning off the lenses. Uh, they are multi-coated lenses. I believe that's what it was saying. Yeah, yeah, multi-coated. Coated. You do get uh, lens cap covers for both. 
like I said, I just already filmed this all once. <laughs> all right, so here's where you're gonna be looking at, right? This is your focusing or your zooming lever. So this is very quick and easy. Um, the lenses, I'll be able to see you like that, right? Um, now they are coated and it feels like a hard rubberized uh, coating on it. So really durable, good weatherproof um, material. Uh, you know, they do expand and contract like this or rotate. Um, now it does give you directions that when you are first getting them ready, you're going to want to keep the lens cap. This is what I do. Or you can put your hand over it, but get one side focused to uh, be as clear as you can get it before you take these off and then contracting it down to where you're getting just one single picture. And then of course you can adjust the lenses as you can see right here in order to get that kind of clarity that you're looking for um, or the focusing ability of it right um, now who are these good for well pretty much everyone if you like to see at distance right <laughs> so y'all yeah, kidding aside though like sporting events these are awesome this way especially if you have family that's playing in a game you can get a good look up close to them um, depending on how far away you're uh, able to sit uh, people that like to uh, go out bird watching so you can identify all different types of birds or if you're out there looking for food um, this is a great way to identify uh, different types of wildlife at long distances right um, I mean and you can get a pretty long range out of these I mean this gave you the field of vision at a thousand yards I don't have anywhere around here that I can have a thousand yards of distance to be able to accurately describe how <laughs> much you could see at that but anywhere from 100 to 200 yards which is where i've had to be able to uh, test these out at is perfect um i mean great visibility great clarity of the glass and easy to identify whatever it is that i was looking for um mostly not even looking at it in particular just testing these out to see what kind of range they have um uh, full disclosure, they did send these to me to review, which was perfect because I did want a new pair um, for this summer because the two that I have are just a small, I think they're like 10 by 10 or 10 by 20, something like that. Uh, so not very long range um, to the point where like if I was shooting and I'm trying to sight a rifle in at 100 yards or just try to bullseye shoot at 100 yards, um, I'd have to walk it every time because there wasn't enough range. This, you don't have to walk, right? You can save yourself a lot of time just by gearing, looking up through these. Um, all right, guys, just uh, kind of recap. These things are awesome. I highly recommend them. If you like to be able to see at a distance, you need a pair of these. These things work extremely well. Very impressed with the clarity. Um, I'll leave a link to the Instagram, the Instagram, the, uh, Amazon link down below. I think they run about $80. I think they might be on sale right now for $70. Don't quote me on that. Uh, just <laughs> look it up from the link. All right, guys, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of finding a great, outstanding pair of binoculars. Got to check them out, guys. In the meantime, be prepared and have fun.